Hi, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to tell you how to uh, clean panel data for your analysis. In this video, I will be first of all importing a panel data which is in monthly form to convert it into annual data by calculating cross section means and cross section standard deviations. Then within Stata, I will merge that data file with another panel data file which is in annual data form and in both data sets I have one common identifier I will show you here first in my first data file you can see there is a cross ID which is equal to country name dash year name so this is an identifier that can be used to compare with the data set and in other data file I have also this cross ID variable so in this video I will be gradually I'm showing you chunks of how to do this analysis. So let's continue. First of all, we'll import the first data file. So we'll go in, go in the file, and then go import, and then Excel file, and here browse, and then I will select this annual data, or index data, which is in Excel as form. And when I select it, it will ask me that I should import first variable as a variable names, and all data is correctly sorted. So when I press OK, it will import the data and you can see data here. In this data file, you can note that it's a monthly data and I have uh, separated the, the time period into year and month so that I can uh, calculate year wise mean value. Have a note here is that my data index is changing across cross section and year and within month. So if I have to calculate a mean value, what I have to do is I have to sort the data two times, first of all country wise, then year wise, then calculate the index so that for each, uh, so each year it will calculate the average for all the months that are available. So for the, that I have found the command, so I will do page up and show you the command by sort country and year semicolon each and m index mean of index. So when I do it, it will create a mean value, then same command I will, what I can do is S of index and call it uh, to calculate the standard deviation. So by the sort country here, each and S index is ST of index. So this way you can see that you have two variables, mean of index and standard deviation of index. For each year, the values are constant and then for the next year, the values are changing. So this way, it's a time series uh, panel data and I converted the quarter, uh, monthly data into annual form. Now in this data you note that the data of mean and standard deviation is repeating for cross section uh, for each month in a year. But if I have to merge it with uh, annual panel data or some other data file, there will be repetitions. So I have to uh, delete all the rows in the year for each month and keep only one month because all the values are same so that my repetition within a year is removed. So for that, what I will do is, I will use this command, uh, keep if month equal to, equal to, equal to 12. So every December, I will keep it and remove all the months because the data of mean and standard deviation is same for all the months. So what will happen is, uh, I have selected last month because what will happen is the first year, if it is not complete here, I will make sure the data is there. And then for the last, uh, I have have a complete year, so it will work. So this way I have the, when I run it, it will delete too many observations, 12,731, and you can see that it's now annual time series panel data. Now next step is I will tell you how to merge the this data with some other by merging with cross ID. Before you import the next data, so uh, before you import the next data, uh, what you have to do is you have to make sure this data is stored in Stata format and the other data is also stored in data format. So what I will do, I will save this data by going here and press the save button and name is as average data. So it will be stored as a data. Then what I will do, I will clear this window and import the other set of files. So I will go import and I will import the second data set. In this data set, you, need, you notice that there is full names in the first column. So, I have to do this. And then cell range, you have to make sure that it is equal to 2. So, you can change it by 
changing it here so that it will start from row 2 so there are so data is properly imported so when this data is imported you have to save it again so you can save it with the name of uh, panel data so I have the two data sets I will copy these codes in my do file and this is clear and this import file and in my do file I will copy them here move this full stop and then this save file one so that I have the complete process in my codes now what I have to do is merge it with the other file so so when you go here uh, I have the first data set in which the mean values and simulations are there because this data is my master data I want to make sure that it is the new data is matching with this and extra is not there uh, extra will be added but it will be marked as extra which is not matching so my two data sets merge many with many on key variables so I have many on my existing data and many in many existing data and my common variable is cross id and the data that I am picking is this when I data when I do it it will say that uh, it has max 820 observations and uh, uh, but are not matched are these so because when I made the index the, the data was not available for many countries so most of the countries were dropped but the data from the new file data that I am importing which is panel data file it has whole world data so this has added the data so you can see index and its mean and the new variables and it is also saying how many are matched and how many are not so if you go down you will find that as uh, so few of them are not matched and, and, and if they are not matched there is no other data for index over there so this way you can merge two data sets in panel data and the last step what I will do is I notice that in my second data set there are some, some uh, missing values in these variables that is uh, TER, P, BNR and PR so what I will do is I will also tell you how to fill those missing values so the command is so this was a command that was used to match the data files. So command is by sort id by sort country isolate tr with here and generate tr1 so estimated tr so when i highlight control d it will estimate similarly i have to fill, fill the values for PNR and PER so PNR and then PER this way I have these few data sets so I can then, then uh, this data set is now uh, cleaned and now you can do any analysis on it thank you very much for watching if you have any queries or any other data cleaning issues for specifically panel data and strata, you can share it in comments and I will try to sort them out. Thank you very much.